What's up, everyone? Jason Gilbo here at JGilbo11. Take a look at some pitching options for tonight's eight-game slate. Uh, looks like Minnesota and Kansas City is going to be a likely postponement, uh, taking two guys off the board there, at least over on MLBDFSweather.com. Um, Mark has it as a 90% uh, postponement threat. Texas is at a 30%. Uh, he's looking at a delayed start there mostly. So jumping into you, Darvish, I mean, that's where that, that kind of translates. Um, weather is an issue for you, Darvish, tonight, especially if if it's a late start and then they're going to play on and, and be fine throughout there. He's a, he's a solid option in all formats. Uh, if it looks like it's going to be risky, uh, moving forward in game threats, stuff like that. Um, I'll probably come off Darvish and cash games. Uh, might still make a reasonable GPP option with them. Brandon McCarthy becomes the next top option. So um, looking at Darvish here, I mean, you're an expensive guy, um, but, you know, there's no real big SP2 to kind of go behind him. Um, Zach Greinke's there at home against Colorado, has been pitching well. Colorado struggles on the road. I don't know how much they'll struggle tonight in Chase Field. McCarthy, or uh, sorry, Grinky. I'm still not a big believer in him. Um, he's just a tournament play at most. But back to Darvish. I mean, a uh, good good option here tonight. Um, you know, I know the ballpark has been a little bit tough on Darvish to start this season. Three of his four home runs have been allowed there. Woba 40 points higher, but still only allowing a 284 Woba to, to hitters at home. Uh, swing strike rate down two percent to start the season. Um, you know, a little bit of a concern there, I guess, but. Obviously, that wasn't an issue last time out against the Angels. Um, and he's still missing plenty of bats, and the strikeout upside still there. He's still the most talented pitcher on the slate. Um, you look at the Angels' offense. I mean, 26 in Woba against right-handed pitching, 21.1% swinging strike rate. Outside of Pujols, Mike Trout, I mean, there's nothing to really work, worry about. Uh, C.J. Crow, not really a threat to me. Uh, Cole Calhoun struggling to start the year. So, um, you know, look at these teams that are uh, – Darvish is just in a good spot against this Angels offense. I mean, the only downside is just really the pitch, uh, the park, uh, and the weather. So definitely keep an eye on, on that as kind of the slate goes on. That it'll be a big turning point uh, if we get a little bit of an issue in that one. But like I said, I mean, Brandon McCarthy in a good spot tonight. Uh, you look at the Phillies' bottom 10 to hard contact against right-handed pitching. Also, the ninth highest strikeout rate, which is 23.6%. Um, that's you know, just because teams are striking out a ton this year, usually that's top five going back to last year. But um, what was up? Um, offense really isn't as bad as 2016. Uh, but you look at McCarthy, I like him quite a bit here. Uh, 2.25 ERA followed by a 3.22 FIP, 3.41 XFIP. 24.2% um, strikeout rate this season, allowing just a 21% R contact rate. Very solid numbers. Um, McCarthy's been a little bit sporadic in the strikeout department, you know, over his career, but looking good this uh, this season throughout a couple of starts. Obviously, the Phillies matchup is going to help. Uh, McCarthy does become top cash game option for me if Darvish is out um, on DraftKings. I, I, I'll be pairing the two in cash games. Um, you just look at the Dodgers. I mean, only team over two, 200 is a favorite. Uh, Phillies have, you know, lowest total on the board. Um, so McCarthy coming in as a solid option. Outside of that, I mean, you know, we talked about Grinky as being the logical pivot in those plays, but, you know, we get to the lower guys, there really isn't a lot of pitching to really get a lot of excitement of. I mean, Yvonne Nova's been, been very solid. Uh, you know, looking at his numbers just strictly in Pittsburgh, uh, 2.75 ERA, which is 2.75 is the exact FIP in that span, 0 0.59 home runs per nine. Obviously, that helps. Um, this guy does not walk batters. I mean, he's walked a total of four batters. Uh, and since coming to Pittsburgh, which is, which is 91.2 innings, um, I mean, he's only allowed over three earned runs just twice in that span. So, I mean, he's been really consistent. He's not blowing up. Um, not a big strikeout guy, but ground ball rate over 50%. Um, Marlins do have a 21% strikeout rate against righties. 19th in Woba, 13th in hard contact. So kind of average offense here. Uh, good ballpark. Um, I think Nova's a, a decent option on two pitcher sites. Uh, Fanduel, he is on the cheaper side. Um, becomes more of a play if Darvish is off the table. I still think McCarthy has more of the upside there for just 400 more, so I don't know if I'd make that spin. Um, but I, I do like Nova and, and more two pitcher sites. I, I think he's an intriguing safe cash game guy, uh, and even GPP option on just a limited slate. Uh, Matt Kane's the other one. Um, not fully endorsing Matt Kane, not fully 
getting away from Matt Cain, but uh, Darvish is a guy, if he's out, um, it, it kind of puts Matt Cain on the board a little bit on DraftKings and Yahoo. Fandle, I will not be looking at you at Matt Cain at A200. I'll use McCarthy. I'll use Nova. Um, I'll use Grinky instead. Um, looking at Matt Cain, though, this year, um, you know, hasn't been bad as far as ERA goes. Um, but, you I mean, look at his last few starts. He's allowed three earned runs. Um you know, worst game obviously came against San Diego. 212 BABIP, unsustainably low, uh, 92% left on base percentage, only missing 6.3% of bats, not allowing a ton of hard contact, but not inducing a lot of weak contact. Um, so I, I definitely can see Kane going out there and having a decent outing tonight. Uh, I'm not going to stretch. I think DraftKings and Yahoo, he's, he's a fine option as an SP2 if you want to go that route to save some cash. Um, but Matt Cain is more just in play if Darvish comes off the table just to add another arm in there because outside of that, there's really nothing I'm going to be jumping all over. Um, you know, I, Joe Musgrove was pitching kind of like how he was earlier last year. I'd be okay with it um, against Oakland. Um, Dan Straley came on off that big performance against um, San Diego. This is not San Diego's team. Uh, I know the Pirates are still a, an average offense at best. Um but with that being said, I mean, I'm still not exactly thrilled. Uh, and really, that's it. I mean, Garcia, Jimmy Nelson, you're not touching those guys right now. Andrew Triggs, I'm not touching. Um, so I think overall, it's really a little bit overpriced if you want to touch on the other name. So uh, I think those are the four that basically I've you know, down to tonight, possibly three if Darvish gets a little iffy with the weather. So uh, that's going to wrap things up here. Uh, you can head to DaveMasticCafe.com for our great tools and content. And uh, if you're looking for up-to-date weather, uh, give MLB DFS Weather a follow on Twitter. Go to the website, up-to-date all the time. Mark does a really great job with that. So um, be sure to check out DaveMasticCafe.com as well.